Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to give you an introduction to resynthesis inside uh, Icarus 3 from Tone 2. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so what is resynthesis? Well, it's the ability to recreate a, um, a sample as a patch inside Icarus 3 which is really a cool technique because it enables you then to use all the different controls that you have available inside Icarus 3, which is much more than actually running a simple sample or just using uh, really simple techniques like loading a sample. And um, Icarus 3 has a lot of different options that you can use to actually do resynthesis. As you can see, you have a menu here which is called the resynthesis. You click on it and you have a number of options that you can use to actually create a resynthesis or reconstruct that sample. Now, I'm not going to go through them all because um, um, I think um, the tutorial will be quite long, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of an introduction. Let's start very simply with just loading a wave sample, a classic sample import without resynthesis so that we have a view of what that sounds like, what that will look like. So this is the patch which I'm loading, which is directly from Ableton Live. Nice and simple. Now we click open. Uh, it's asking us if we want to tune it automatically or not. I'm going to say no. And now let's play some, uh, um, some keys on the keyboard and let's listen. This is a normal sample import, so if I move up the range, so this is just a simple um, import of the sample, as you can see. You can see here my sample, and that's the sample which has been imported. Okay, so it, it has created a new custom patch called My Patch. Now, this is the simple part, right? Let me show you what happens when you actually do resynthesis using melody, which, um, or resynthesis of melody, because this patch is actually quite adequate to do that, because uh, uh, effectively the sample contains a melody being, or a pattern being played by synths. So I can do a wavetable resynthesis of melody using the arpeggiator. So we click on it and we pick up the same sample. Just wait a little bit and there you are. So you can see now the arpeggiator is selected and you can see that it has detected all the different steps which were inside the sample. So if I press a key on the MIDI controller, So we have, a, again, a custom patch. You can see the different patterns here on the arpeggiator, which is great. It's been resynthesized. And we have also the ability now to, for example, playing with the morph, yeah, you know, as we move between uh, within the wave tables, which, which is fantastic. And so on and so forth. You can spend quite a bit of time to actually uh, play around with the patch which is being recreated. As I mentioned um, uh, earlier on, you have a lot of different ways that you can do resynthesis. So, for example, you can use uh, you can do granular resynthesis, which is wonderful for vocals and uh, texture. You can redo a uh, resynthesis with uh, a static pitch or a smart pitch. Okay, or for example, you can do bit slice, okay, which is quite quite nice. Let me let, let me show you. There it is again, incredibly quick. And the beauty, of course, is that when that is recreated inside Icarus 3, you can use all the different controls that you have as part of uh, this powerful 
mainly workstation or workhorse because uh, you have so many controls inside a curse frame. So you can do morphing, you can do time freeze, you can do pitch variation, velocity variation, you can do so much, much more. Okay, this was just a quick introduction. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you next time.